Okay, sausage is done and ready to go. Hi guys, welcome to Sassy O's Keto. Hope you guys are having a wonderful cooking up a storm day. Today we are going to make a breakfast pancake. It's going to be a little different because it's keto. I'm going to put it in my stuffed waffle maker. It's going to consist of sausage, eggs, <clears throat> excuse me, a little bit of spices and some cream. And then we're going to drizzle it with syrup. Everybody loves syrup and sausage. It just tastes tremendously good together. So that's what I'm making. So... We'll get on with cooking with the video. Can dogs have gummy bears? No. No. Okay, we're gonna take 13 eggs. I was gonna do 12, but I had an extra, so that's just what we're using. Okay, next is some mozzarella cheese, which I shredded it. Take some out. And I just took a little four ounce block and shredded it up. Got it shredded. I'm gonna be putting this in with my eggs. You don't have to put the cheese. You can omit omit the cheese if you like. It tastes just the same. But we like the cheesy pancakes. Sausage pancakes. Something like that. I'm going to stick the whole thing in there. All right. Okay, now that my sausage cooled off, I'm going to take and dump my sausage into my raw eggs and cheese. And then we are going to leave the grease. I'm not draining it at all either. So I'm going to dump that in. And then we're just going to mix it in. And this is going to be our... I'm making several of these, so this is a lot. This is going to be for a couple days worth of the breakfast pancakes, I guess waffles that I call with no flour. So, all right, now I'm going to get that. I've got my stuffed chaffler. I've got it heated up and ready to go. I got a towel back in the back. Put it underneath it to catch the drippage. So, and there's the picture of the pesto stuffler. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up. We have the connector already here. It's already on, ready to go. So now I'm going to take a measuring cup and I'm going to take a couple scoops let me get this closer so I don't make a mess. I'm trying to do this one handed here. Alright, two scoops. And I'm using a third of a cup, so I did two thirds of a cup. And so I'm going to close that, get it ready. I'll flip it here in about a minute, and then we'll go from there. Alright, it's been about a minute, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to flip it onto the other side. And these roughly take about five to six minutes just because of the thickness of it. I've made these before in the other video, and I'll link that above on my other video on the stuffed chafflers. This is just a breakfast chaffle that we love making. I don't even know why I keep calling it chaffle. It's really not a chaffle. I mean, it's kind of made like it, but the cheese melts on it. It doesn't get crispy at all on the outside. And it's just super, super delicious. We drizzle it with syrup. And then let me get the syrup out and show you guys. Okay, this is a syrup that I got in my keto crate for, um, I don't remember if it was for December or October or November because I just got the, the buy one, get one keto crate free. I did the BOGO and they gave me this. I've never tried it. Um, it says new stevia pourable salted caramel flavored syrup. So we're gonna try this on our breakfast waffles here. It says it has 39 calories per tablespoon. 
and get the, there we go. Let's see, total fat zero, sodium 114. This says there's nine carbohydrates in here, but nine sugar alcohols, so that makes it zero net carbs. So it tells you everything you can put it in, cakes, teas, coffees, ice cream, you know, all kinds of good, all kinds of good stuff. My phone probably needs it. There we go. Got lots of stuff. So we're going to try this out and we're going to see what it tastes like. I'm going to open it up and give it a taste to see what it tastes like before we pour it on our breakfast waffles because, you know, I don't want to waste it if I don't like the taste of it. So, all right, we'll bring you right back as soon as this gets done. Let's go ahead and give you a quick, quick sneak peek. It should be should be formed up enough to give you a sneak peek of it and there's the yes delicious yummy all right so i'll be right back as soon as this gets done all right i poured a little bit in a tablespoon and we're going to go ahead and taste it that was my daughter what do you think it's okay it tastes a little chemical -y to me i don't know it tastes good all right so I'm going to okay. stick my finger in it. Just give it a little taste here. Mmm. It's almost like butterscotch, y'all. Instead of caramel, mm -hmm. salted caramel. I really like this. I think this is going to be really delicious on there, on the breakfast waffles. I really like this. I definitely order this again. So once again, I got this out of my Keto Crate. So I'm going to actually go on to Keto Crate, and I think I'm going to order a couple more of these and try and see if I can find different flavors because I really like it. And you can see someone else likes it because keep, she keeps dipping into it. <laughs> All right, so that is actually good. We found some, and it's sweetened with stevia. Yep, sweetened with stevia. Nice. That's the best tasting syrup I've tried so far. So, All right, we'll, we'll bring you right back. I wanted to show you these cute little gifts that my husband had got me. He found them. And it, see if I can get it on there. It says Sassy Since Birth. It's really cute. I'm trying to get it without <laughs> the reflection on it. You know how hard that is? Oh my gosh. It, there, Sassy Since Birth. And then he got me a bowl that says Sassy here. So I'm really excited, really cute to use those. I can't wait to, to use them to see. But there we go, sassy since birth. That kind of gives you a good, good for my iced coffee, so I'm ready to use this. Use it for my pop or whatever else I need, so that's a really cute gift that I got that I was really excited to see. Because it has my nickname on it. So excited, so. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to check these. I'm going to move this off to the side, and we're going to check our waffle. Alright. Yummy. Yep, I almost let it in there too, too long, but man, that looks delicious. Nummy, nummy. Okay, I'm going to try and do this one-handed here. So I got me a plastic spatula to bring the truffler it this way. So I am a right-handed person. Let's bring this off. Put this down here. And just like my other one, it turned out really delicious, really good. So I'm going to, my daughter, she likes the syrup, but she's not too keen on it. So she's just going to use a sugar-free best choice syrup. She's going to drizzle it over the top and eat it. I will take and show you the one that I make for me. And then drizzle all over the top, but yummy, yummy. So good. All right, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you hers. She, I'm just going to go ahead and cut into it and show you. It looks exactly like a regular egg chaffle. It's just got the sausage and stuff in it. Put that syrup on it and y'all, very delicious meal. One of these will fill you up, I'm telling you. You can see it's got the sausage, the egg. Sorry about the lighting. I guess it's yummy, delicious. Look at that. Let's see if I can take a picture here. Not the prettiest, but hey. Doesn't have to be pretty, does it? <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to take and give this to her, and she's fixing to eat breakfast, and there you go, guys. We have a breakfast chaffle. So, stuffed waffle. I will, I will figure this out by the time it is the end of the video. Basically, sausage, egg, and cheese. Stuff. Put it in the stuffler, put syrup over it, and we got a, a good keto breakfast. So, 
There you go. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I might add something else to this video. So if I do, I'll just have to edit this out. So that way we can make it longer, I guess. I don't know. We'll figure this out. But I ain't going to edit. Y'all know I ain't going to edit. I don't do that. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs>